worst of the winter weather has come and gone. And the cover has done its job of keeping us nice and dry throughout the winter months. Now it's time to do the finishing touches to the barge, getting the paint slapped on, getting the decks cleared, and starting to think about bending the gear back on, ready for the summer sailing season. Whilst our patron volunteers de-rigged the tent, we had other little projects to finish off, including a new Scotsman for the bow. The Scotsman uh, used to be a tin sheet, but it always looked rusty and horrible. So this year we replaced it in green heart planks. Meanwhile, the sails have been dragged out from their winter storage and are getting their annual coat of sail dressing. When these sails are made of natural fibre, they would have been white and then the sail dressing turned them red uh, and this was used to waterproof them. But modern day sails are synthetic fibres and they come red anyway and then we give them an annual coat of Ronsil fence paint just to make sure that the UV doesn't degrade them too much. Once all the little jobs have been completed with the sails, we manhandle them to where they need to be, with the mainsail being the most difficult one to move about, being such a size. Now that the sails have all been bent on and the gear is all ready to go, the tension turns to the foredeck and the windlass, which does the work of winding the mast up. It's an incredibly powerful winch, and it's very, very hard to start with, but it gets easier the further it goes up. This is the muzzle, which holds the bottom of the spreet to the mast, we had it galvanised, but it made the uh, threads a little bit tight this year. Still going. It takes us about 45 minutes to wind up the mast, because you have to keep stopping and checking and making sure that no wires are getting hooked up. But it just puts it into context as to how good they must have been in the old days, when they used to shoot bridges, whereby they'd sail up to the bridge, lower the mast down, sail through the bridge, and then wind it back up again the other side and keep sailing. Turning our attention to the stern deck and raising the mizzen mast, even though we had it in storage all winter right under our notice, we hadn't noticed a little bit of rock creeping in just at the bottom of the mast. On closer inspection, it was pretty superficial, so we just hacked it out a bit and filled it with putty. It'll be a job to fix properly next year. So, when rigging up the mast, you always put port on first, starboard on top, because starboard is king, which means it always goes on top. So port shrouds first, starboard shrouds, and then all the other paraphernalia that goes on top. We use a line that goes from the mast up to the end of the spreet and back down to the mast case winch to pull the thing up with. Then we move on to the topmast. Again, we utilize the mast case winch to wind it up. 
But before we do so, we must make sure we put our brand new bob on. For those of you wondering what a bob is, it's the flag that tells us the direction of the wind. And for those who are wondering why it's called a bob, you'll have to ask Bob that question. Now that the gear's up, we can have a quick tidy up and get ready for our sailing season to begin. The coming season was shaping up to be one of our best ever, with festivals, events and races, community sailing programs and opportunities for people to come sailing who've never done it before. If you're interested, like, subscribe and perhaps even consider becoming one of our patrons. Thanks.